Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to install Windows 10 on the Mac OS High Sierra on your Mac. Now I did run into some issues but I found some fixes and after that everything went smooth. So anyway let's begin the video. So as you can see I am actually using the MacBook Air 2017 model with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 GB storage and I'm using the Mac OS High Sierra as you can see and uh, you need at least 40 GB for uh, the Mac to partition your device so make sure that you at least free up around 45 to 50 GB to be on the safe side now you need to download this Windows ISO file from the Microsoft website this is about 5 GB so make sure that uh, you have good internet connection and once you're downloaded Open the spotlight search by pressing command and spacebar and uh, search for bootcamp. Now the next step is to click continue and as you can see this is the error. You could already see that I have over 40 GB of uh, free space but still it gives me this error. This is something that a lot of uh, macOS high Sierra users are facing. So what you need to do is go into the time machine backup and disable the automatic backups just uncheck it. Now this alone may not fix the issue but you also need to delete the time machine snapshots which might fix your issue. Now to do that you need to open the spotlight search again and uh, search for terminal. Now you need to enter these commands in the terminal. Now I'll also leave a link in the description to this page you can check it out. As you can see this is the command that worked for a lot of people but in my case it did not actually fix the issue. So after trying out this command I went ahead and tried another command that is at the bottom of the page just copy this command and enter it in the terminal and then press enter that's it it will start executing and uh, it will basically work in the background and it will take some time to free up the space uh, so this will basically create a big file equivalent to the free space that is on your Mac. Now you'll also get the low storage space warning just ignore that once uh, the command is executed completely then copy this command and uh, this will basically delete uh, the file that is just been created so basically it will again free up the whole space now deleting won't take more than few seconds and now you can also check your storage again your storage will get back to what it was before and uh, now again open the bootcamp and click continue and as you can see the problem is fixed and uh, you can also see that the windows image file is already selected which is placed on the desktop as you can see now all you need to do is uh, do the partition now this depends on your requirements and uh, storage space if you have more storage space then you can go with 60 gb for windows which is going to be kind of a sweet spot but in my case i only have 128 gb storage so i went with 30 to 35 gb but you can also go with 35 to 40 GB but it won't really take less than 30 GB so I would suggest at least 30 to 35 GB or maybe slightly more that would work just fine now once you click next then it will start uh, doing the partitioning and you need to enter the password as well and then it will start rebooting into Windows setup now you need to basically do the Windows setup this is just like any other Windows setup so basically you need to give out your details user details and then your time zone and stuff and next you need to enter the serial if you don't have it just you can enter it later as well and here you will find different windows options so i basically went ahead with uh, this windows home edition and uh, click next now you'll see all the partitions on your mac now all you have to do is just select bootcamp and uh, basically this will install windows on uh, this partition so just click next and that's it it will start installing the windows and once the installation is over you will be asked to set up your details like your username password and stuff now after that you will be presented with this uh, bootcamp dialog box make sure that you install these uh, drivers for windows so that uh, your windows works normally you need internet connection during this whole process so make sure you have a good internet connection and once that is done it will restart and uh, now you have successfully installed windows 10 on your mac and you can basically dual boot mac and windows so that's been it for this video guys i hope you liked it please like and share this video and also subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you soon